This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. Aaron Schwartz, who co-authored RSS at the age of 14, he was also the designer of the code layer of the Creative Commons, one of the earliest architects of Creative Commons. Uh, he was also the founder of uh, Infogami, which later merged with uh, Reddit, and uh, the founder of Demand Progress, which in 2010 uh, was a huge campaign against internet censorship bills and was instrumental in blocking SOPA and PIPA legislation. Um, Aaron was a genius technologist and a multidisciplined activist. One of his areas of interest was public access to information. Now, short for journal storage, JSTOR is a library containing digitized back issues of academic journals, including books and even current journals. Now, most access to JSTOR is through subscription. In late 2010 and in early 2011, Schwartz used a laptop hidden in the basement network closet of MIT's Building 16 to bulk download a substantial portion of JSTOR's articles. Uh, when JSTOR noticed, they stopped the downloading and identified that it was Schwartz. The content was secured with the confirmation from Schwartz that the content was not and would not be used, copied, transferred, or distributed. The next month, Schwartz was criminally indicted by direction of the United States Attorney Office. While JSTOR was subpoenaed, they were also quick to point out that it was the government's decision to prosecute and not their own, and that JSTOR was only interested in securing the content, not starting an ongoing legal matter. Schwartz pled not guilty in September of 2012. Since then, Schwartz has moved to Brooklyn, New York, working on the Avaz Foundation, Avaz meaning voice in several European, Middle Eastern, and Asian languages. It's a nonprofit, quote, global web movement to bring people-powered politics to decision-making everywhere. And on January 11th, 2013, Aaron took his own life at age 26 from his Brooklyn apartment. Many people, including his family, are clear that the pending legal case against him undoubtedly contributed to his death. From the official statement from family and partner of Aaron Schwartz, quote, Aaron's death is not simply a personal tragedy. It is the product of criminal justice system rife with intimidation and prosecutorial overreach. Decisions made by officials in the Massachusetts U.S. Attorney's Office and at MIT contributed to his death. The U.S. Attorney's Office pursued an exceptionally harsh array of charges carrying potentially over 30 years in prison to punish an alleged crime that had no victims. Meanwhile, unlike JSTOR, MIT refused to stand up for Aaron and its own community's most cherished principles. JSTOR responded with a statement of heartfelt condolences to Aaron's family, friends, and anyone who loved, knew, and admired him. In the days following Aaron's death, many academics have posted to Twitter PDFs of journal articles as a tribute with the hashtag pound PDF tribute. Anonymous launched a denial of service attack against the MIT network and compromised two MIT websites, leaving behind a farewell message to Schwartz. The message also calls for reformation of computer crime laws, copyright and intellectual property laws, and a greater recognition for oppression and injustices and a commitment to a free and unfettered internet, much of which has been lifted from the Electronic Frontier Foundation's farewell to Schwartz. In the wake of this tragedy, many are questioning the accountability for prosecutorial abuse. The Wall Street Journal learned that two days before Schwartz's suicide, federal prosecutors again rejected a plea bargain offer from Schwartz's lawyers, which would have kept him out of prison. Instead, they demanded that he, quote, would need to plead guilty to every count and make clear that, quote, the government would insist on prison time. TechDirt discovered in September that the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Massachusetts severely escalated the already excessive four felony count indictment with an additional nine felony counts, each carrying the possibility of a fine and imprisonment of up to 10 to 20 years per felony. At the funeral, Aaron's father said, quote, he was killed by the government and MIT betrayed all of its basic principles. 
Well, U.S. Attorney Carmen Ortiz and Assistant U.S. Attorney Stephen Heyman have refused to speak publicly on the matter. Ortiz's husband, IBM executive Thomas Dolan, posted to Twitter criticizing the Swartz family for assigning blame to the prosecutor with, quote, truly incredible in their own son's obit they blame others for his death. Once Dolan's identity was discovered, he received criticism and he deleted his Twitter account. House Oversight Committee Daryl Issa on Tuesday opened investigation on the uh, Justice Department's prosecution. Issa stated, quote, had he been a journalist and taken the same material that he gained from MIT, he would have been praised for it. It would have been like the Pentagon Papers. A petition to remove U.S. District Attorney Carmen Ortiz from the office garnered more than the required 25,000 signatures for review on WhiteHouse.gov. Now, Aaron has been heralded across the globe as a defender of web freedom and as a champion of free information. His memorial can be found at RememberAaronSW.com. No feedback this week. Instead, I'll read these posts. Cory Doctorow writes, Aaron had an unbeatable combination of political insight, technical skill, and intelligence about people and issues. I think he could have revolutionized America and worldwide politics. His legacy may yet still do so. And Tim Berners-Lee wrote, Aaron dead. World wanderers, we have lost a wise elder. Hackers for right, we are one down. Parents all, we have lost a child. Let us weep. And for that, I can only end with a moment of silence. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. And be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every week right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, viewers get a valuable glue logic tutorial. Don't forget to go to element14.com slash tbhs to find how you can enter to win the latest builds from Ben's show.